Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Dota but Counter-Strike, which is created by Eating. This is a really cool mode where the game is split into rounds. It's five versus five, where one team is defending a tower and the other team is trying to attack the tower. And, uh, you know, we'll see who comes out on top. It is a genuine custom game too. It's not just like a silly little Dota, but as much as I love those, you know, sometimes it can be hard to think of something like Dota times 10 as really like a full-on custom game. But this is a proper custom game. It's really cool. We've played it for a bunch of rounds now. I've really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys will enjoy it too. So I thought we could play a little bit of that today. But you know what else is great? That's right. Squarespace. Today's sponsored. Today's video is sponsored and brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a fantastic platform for running and hosting a website. It's a service that really offers everything that you need all in one little package. Go check out Squarespace at the link down in the description. And for now, let's get into the game. All right. The first thing we have to do is we have to pick a team full of heroes that can fight. Because that's what this mode is all about. It's about five on five team fights, non-stop pretty much. It is structured into like two stages where one, one time you're defending and then the other time you're attacking. Uh, sort of like Counter-Strike, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not crazy. Okay, we have a Bad Rider, we have a Sniper, we have a Dark Willow. So we, we need a Frontline right now. Do I see that correctly? We need somebody who's just gonna go in. Nail just picked a really bad hero because that hero's broken, doesn't have refraction. <laughs> well, gonna have to deal with it. So we need frontline. Um, looking at this, we don't have much. We have Slaughter. Maybe just Disruption is fine. Maybe we just get Medusa. That seems fun. Looking at those heroes. Yeah, let's get Medusa. Let's get Medusa. I like that here. Now, I know she's not like a traditional frontliner, but we can get Aghanim's Scepter, we can get Aghanim's Shard, just throw some spells out there. And then also, we just like, we're tanky, right? She's tanky, She can. she's good at holding a position, and also she's a pretty good tower push in the late game, which is something that might be relevant. We'll see. Anyway, we're loading in now. And uh, what then will happen is the game will decide whether or not we are attacking or we're defending. So we are attacking. Uh, which is incredibly difficult, especially if you're starting on the Radiant. So this game mode isn't properly balanced, unfortunately. Let me just kind of start out by saying that. Uh, it's it's a little broken right now because uh, one of the issues that exists, I'll show you in a second. What we have to do right now is we have to attack this tower or this tower. There are two towers. If we kill one of these towers, then we win this early round. And they are up to 15 rounds, whichever team gets to... Um, how many rounds first? Whichever team gets to eight wins first, wins the game. So that's just what it's about. You got to get eight wins. However, the problem is, the problem is that these towers are actually really difficult to kill. And particularly the Diocide Towers, they have 12 armor. Radiant Side Towers oh, don't have armor. Don't I don't know why they just don't have armor. <laughs> Which means <laughs> that our towers are easier to kill late game and uh, their towers are harder to kill in the early game, which is uh, really bad, uh, really tough, and it's going to make this all just uh, quite a bit of a nightmare. But that's okay. We're just going to try our best anyway. We're just going to try our best anyway. However, because of the aforementioned issues, uh, we do have a bit of a soft uh, bonus rule in place. And that is that uh, we have said you have to kind of take a fight. So no just straight tower pushing. You are allowed to go push the tower, but like actually go fight first. Go fight a little bit. Because when we played this earlier, we, we played a couple of games of this by now. And we played a match earlier where the dire side, we had kind of a similar setup to this. And then the dire side had a tiny and all they did... <laughs> He's just run in and BKB and kill towers and we just couldn't do anything. We stood no chance. It was brutal. Okay, so how do we get this? This tower is so tough to take down. I'm gonna throw this in there. Can reset some mana. Oh, the magic wand is brutal. Nope, they're gonna... This is actually really bad. They're getting kills. Yep, this tower is scary. Oh god. Okay. It's not great. We're not in great shape. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We were doing so well. Uh, well, I guess that happens, right? I guess that happens. 
To be honest, I don't think Split Shot is actually that valuable. After each round, we uh, get a, we get some gold, we get some experience, and then we go on to the next one. So, sorry, I should maybe uh, be a bit more precise in my language there. I don't think Split Shot is that valuable right now. It'll be amazing later on, but like right now, I actually feel like maybe maybe our other two abilities are a bit better. I just kind of got a level of Split Shot out of habit. Okay. You can see now we are more powerful, so pushing a tower is definitely much more feasible, uh, but it is still tough. Also, quick shout out, because I really enjoyed the fact that this map is just like, it's just the Dota map, but small. That's great. It's great. It's really fantastic that this is just a small version of the Dota map. Very enjoyable. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw in one of these. Get a couple of attacks in, right? We, we're just here to attack, so let's just, just hit him. Good, that's a kill. There's a stomp. Don't want to get hit by that, and then we just kind of keep hitting him. We just, we just keep hitting him. Snake is bouncing. Oh, that was a great snake, actually. And then we just keep, just keep attacking. Very good. <laughs> like they're hiding underneath their tower. We go throw in a snake. Good, good bounce. We have more heroes alive, but they are hiding underneath their tower. I don't know if we can push this. Yeah, we're gonna need shrapnel. We gotta wait 15 seconds for shrapnel, I think. Oh, sick bounds. Yeah, we'll just keep poking them, honestly. I'm, I'm perfectly happy to just have this slow harassment game going on. Now, there is a timer up there. We only have a minute to actually take this down, so we can't stall forever. All right, magic wand activated now. Down you go. It's just a TA at this stage. Ah! We're dying. Crap. Okay, Tia is dead. Now we need to actually push. I don't know if we can. <laughs> we have 40 seconds. Is there maybe a regent rune? Is there any chance there's like a rune? No, nothing? Oh, crap. Uh, let's go, let's go. Yeah, you just gotta go. You just gotta go. We just have to... Nope, there's, there's defense. Yep. Okay, uh, I have a little bit of HP. You know, I have my mana shield. That should help a bit, but maybe it's... I mean, I'm gonna die, but hopefully it's enough. Come on! Yes! <laughs> oh, that was such a struggle, but we got there. Very nice. You know what? I really think that Aghanim Scepter is actually gonna be pretty good for us here. We're gonna be more of like a, you know, team fighting base build, spell casting base build. Something from, like, last year, Medusa. Like, wasn't 7.31 Medusa kind of, you know, Aghanim Scepter, Aghanim Shard? We're gonna do something like that. Seems like it should be good. Let's maybe try to go for the top tower. They'll probably set up at the bottom one again. Sneak around a bit. Try to catch him off guard. Oh, okay, no, they're already moving there. That's fine. I mean, Slada can take a bit of punishment, right? This is going to be our main initiator. Although, I imagine I will actually have to do a lot of the just like raw walking in. Alright, split earth. We don't want to get hit by that. Dragonite cannot deal enough damage to me. We lost the hero though. Oh, that didn't bounce. That sucks. I'm still waiting on my ultimate. Alright, now seems like a good time. Yeah. They are trying to take me down. But I am Medusa, and killing me is, is hard. <laughs> it just takes a little while. I need to get some value out of this bounce. Oh, come on. No, that's a shame. Can I do this? Just a little bit of damage, but... Just running out of HP here. Yeah, they got me. Now, I guess more precisely, I'm running out of mana. I think they got it. But to be honest... Just the fact that we managed to get one offense win, that's huge. That's actually, that's actually huge. I'm very happy about that. Okay. Get ourselves the Blade of Alacrity, level up Mystic Snake, level up Mana Shield, tier 2 token. Ooh, Dragon Scale seems really nice. You know, that's some extra pushing power. 
and good amount of survivability. Look at that. What a good video. Great video, buddy. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I really want to let you know that I appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to go my merry way without leaving a mean YouTube comment. Maybe let's let's try this way around. Come on. No, no, no. Slaughter just going to charge in. That's fine. <laughs> Do you think, buddy? <laughs> oh, shield. Somebody else should take this. Yeah, that's good. That's actually huge. Okay. There's the Kunkka. Blink Dagger. Enormous, as always. Split Earth. Walked right into it, but that's okay. We can take that hit. It's based on max HP, right? So, what max HP? Okay, I just need to wait a little bit. Oh, I got silenced again. I'm trying to cast my ultimate. Yeah, sleep is very good against Medusa, unfortunately. Bounce. Yes! Okay. Our well, damage output isn't great. But we're tanking a lot, and really that's all we're looking for. Okay. Oh, man. Come on. Get him. Nice. Oh! Let's go, Dark Widow. Oh, no. Okay, 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 little bro. You can do it. One more, one more of these. Oh. <laughs> so close. Man, these fights are intense. We'll get Mystic Snake turn and movement speed slow. And then more mana shield. Next up, I want to get my Aghanim's Shard. And then we'll start building some like general stats. Probably just an Ioscardi. Seems like a good idea. Or Dragonlance would be good too. That might be more important even. I don't know. We'll see. I've got Arcane. Oh yeah, I guess these days you probably build Arcane Boots on Medusa, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. It's been a bit of a, been a minute since I've really played Medusa. Just thought she would be fun for this. Alright. Snake, bounce. Oh, brutal! Nice. Kunkka down. Didn't really take any damage. And I think that's a bunch of ultimates used as well, right? Snake. Here we go. I'm gonna just use mine now. I didn't really get a good chance last fi last fight, so or last round. Snake didn't get it. Okay, that's unfortunate. I'm dead. I'm probably dead. Yeah, Wind Ranger takes me down. Does she have a diffuser blade yet? No. But we do have sniper alive. Sniper is actually a huge deal because sniper can outrange the tower. Yeah, all right. Dark Willow is here. Oh, sick. She does have a Shadow Realm. Can she do it? There's the arrow. TA is sitting right there. Invisibility, unfortunately. That's going to cancel that. And it seems Sniper is dead. Oh. Yeah, we're going to need something to deal with invisibility. Unfortunately, uh, rune, sorry, wards get reset every fight. So if we were to put down some sentries, they would just be gone soon. And they're really expensive. You see, 150 gold. Yeah. But I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one. Is dust cheaper? Oh, dust is much cheaper. So I should probably get that instead. Well, good news. We have Aghanim Shard, Aghanim Scepter. We are looking pretty, pretty good. Because we can also just like keep throwing the Mystic Snake. Level 12. Going bottom here again. Wardle right forward. Wardle right in. Okay, very nice. We've got the stones. That's good. Kunkka push. So far still looking all right. Snake? Oh my god, that's the perfect snake. I hit five heroes. Oh, wow! Let's go. That was brutal. Okay, just try and deal damage to this. Assassinate. Nice. It's just the TA left. I mean, I can tank the tower now. I'm not scared of this anymore. 
I think she's just hiding here invisibly. And that should be it. Nice. Ooh, I gotta be a little careful now, though. Oh, no! <laughs> but we got him. Yeah, you guys can just finish it. Nice! Good win, good win. Friends, today's video is sponsored and brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a fantastic service for running a website. It's really simple. The way Squarespace works is you have a million templates to choose from. And they're all fantastic. They are all beautiful. You can see them here. We're browsing through them a little bit. And you can come in here and you can just pick out any template you want. And you can do some filtering as well. I just have all of them open right now. But let's say we, we like uh, this one, right? So we just click on it and then we can preview it. We can preview it as the desktop side. We can preview it as a mobile side. We can also come in here and mess with the colors already to see a preview of what it might be like if we want to change things out a little bit. There are a couple of alternate designs available for each color, uh, for each template already just right away. But of course, you can also fully customize things. You don't just have to go with the pre-designed templates, but you can also fully customize things or even do bits and pieces from different templates as you wish. And I think that is just fantastic. It makes for this really wonderful, easy to use service that is also just very professional looking. And I think that's a big factor. Have you ever gone to a website and felt like, hmm, this looks like it was made in 2003. <laughs> and it probably was. And honestly, while there is a certain charm to it, it doesn't give you the impression of, oh, these guys are up to date, right? And it doesn't give the impression of like real good professionalism. And that's where Squarespace comes in. If you have a portfolio, if you have an online store or just some other kind of business, then Squarespace is a fantastic way for you to get good attention, right? Get attention where people look at your website and you're like, yeah, that looks nice. Let me see what's up there. Anyway, go check out Squarespace. There's a link down in the description. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And let's get back to the game. I mean, that was a beautiful Mystic Snake right there. Pretty much best case scenario. We'll get the Mystic Snake cooldown reduced and then just buy an ultimate orb, I think. Let's see what's out here free. Cloak of Flames, Enchanted Quiver, Psychic Headband. Psychic Headband seems really good. Isn't that just... Yeah, that's a really good amount of of intelligence. And as a result, mana. 17. So. We have some extra damage now with the ultimate orb as well. At this point, I can probably start using the split shot. That seems good enough. We're going for the bottom tower again, it seems. I don't know. We're just going wherever. This is the last round anyway. After this, it will switch sides. Okay, hello. I'm here. Um, I'm gonna keep frontlining. Hey, if they're not defending the tower, that's different. Then we can push. Alright? Again, like, the, the little extra rule that we have about not rushing down the tower is just, like, specifically rushing it down. That is not very fun to play against. But if you're not gonna defend, I mean, we're gonna kill it. That's different. There we go. All right, we'll use our ultimate now. I've been kind of waiting with it a little bit until I find a good opportunity. And it seems this is going to be a pretty, pretty clean one. Nice. Look at that. Batrider coming in big time. Taking down the Wind Ranger at the very start of the fight. That's huge. Wow. Honestly, that was a great, great opening here. I know we're still down 3 and 4, but playing offense from the Radiant at the beginning is so fucking hard compared to, you know, now playing defense, which is much more reasonable. Although it's still difficult because, unfortunately, you can see here, our towers don't have armor. Their towers have 12 armor. Ours don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just a bug. But uh, yeah, that, that's kind of unfortunate. It's true the other way around too, by the way. Like if they were to be on defense now, their towers would have 12 armor. It's not just a matter of like early game versus late game. Gotta keep an eye on where they're coming from. Okay, seems over there. 
But playing defense is of course nice because you kind of just need to figure out the right location and then take him down. There's Wind Ranger. There's a lot of them. Go get them, lol, bro. Batrider being huge. Having good initiation is a massive deal. There we go. Sick. We'll use our ultimate. It's just another stun. There is TA. Maybe trying to backdoor? Okay, Mystic Snake bounces. We don't need more. We don't need more. Doesn't do anything. Because it's already bouncing the maximum amount it can, right? There are only five enemies. Okay. So I guess at this point we just kind of stole out the timer. Oh no, there she, there's the Dragonite. They're going for it. <laughs> Not gonna happen, buddy. She down there? To be honest, I'm pretty slow. I don't have... I don't have any significant mobility. So I should probably just pick a tower and sit at that tower. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna let my team deal with the rest. Is this tower undefended right now? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why are these tokens here? <laughs> oh god, okay. Seems she's down there. Yeah, invisibility. Batrider is kind of playing a bit, bit close with everything as well. Assassinate. Snake. Ooh. Hey, we might actually get it. Nice. Sick. All right, what's next? Probably just the Manta Star. That seems like a good item on Medusa. And I think I'll sell this and I'll just get myself some dust as well. Tier 3 tokens. Why are they on the floor? Wait, I already have a tier 3 item. Okay, weird. <laughs> oh, they are the ones that the slaughter just stole. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Amplify damage rune down there. Yeah, it's okay. We'll just kind of... Keep defending. I'm not worried about them jumping me. I mean, I am Medusa with Scepter and Shard. It's difficult to nuke that down. Coming in. Well, honestly, I could have walked, but then I would not be in a good position. So I, I prefer TPing you. Yeah. I'm just going to sit up here and attack. Honestly, I think that's fine. Right, at this stage, Medusa starts being more of a carry as well. Nice, Dark Willow, let's go. Although we did land a huge snake right there. Huge snake. Manta style. <clears throat> Tier 4. Aviana's Feather. That's actually pretty nice. I'll get the Trickster Cloak. Invis? Invis is good. Oh, I also need to buy TP scrolls. TP scrolls come at a premium, though. 200 gold. Ooh. But soon we're going to be level 25. Do I even want split shot uses modifiers, though? I mean, probably, right? It's just like... I'm really more of a tank. <laughs> but I feel like once we have it, then we'll start actually doing attack damage. Then we'll, then we'll be more of a, a carry. All right. Just keep an eye on everything. Although, to be honest... Oh, nice. Okay, we figured our video. Just like before, maybe we are better off just staying at a spot and then TPing if we're needed. Because, again, it is Medusa. Medusa is just not actually the best hero if it comes to moving around. Okay, nope. I mean, I can tank that for days. I'm not worried. Wind Ranger, we've got dust. Nice. 
Ooh, take him all down. Only TA is left? Again. Alright. Ooh, a gem. That's actually a nice one. So I guess with that you can hunt her down. <laughs> not me though, I'm not, I'm not really that fast. <laughs> Lose her stupid. She's good, isn't she? She's tanky early on, and then later on we can use the, uh, you know, the Sable and the uh, Split Shot to actually do some damage too. We really should have one person guarding this tower. Alright. I mean, she's gone, that's okay. Oh, there she is. Nice. I mean, honestly, that was her one attempt. And I think it's fair to just say, okay, that didn't work. So let's just call it. <laughs> Alright, let's do some damage. Maybe do that kind of damage? Honestly, this damage seems better. Oh, you know what? This kind of damage. I think actually MKB... We need True Strike against the uh, Wind Ranger anyway. And there's a good chance that the TA has uh, has some sort of evasion. And same for Kunka, actually. Uh, Heaven's Halberd is very much a realistic option. I don't know where they are. Oh, they're down there. Hello. Okay. That's fine. Please. Wow. I mean, this is just... This is just Medusa right there. We're not really doing very much damage, but who cares? <laughs> it's fine. Can you kill me? No. <laughs> I really don't mind. Perfectly happy with the outcome of that fight. <clears throat> so pick up probably another TP scroll, even though they are so expensive. And uh, do we poke our head through here? I can just sit here and wait. See if they show up. I'm impatient. But I shouldn't be teleporting, right? Because it uses up my mana. I think they're going bottom. They might even, like, run all the way through this. Because they've been attempting top a lot. And this is the last, last fight. If we win this, it's game over. So I'm expecting them to try some trickery. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Read him. Read him like a bug. Hello. Alright, we'll just use this. You're dead. Dark Willow's popping off somewhere. That's okay. I'm just kind of trade hits, right? Like, I'm fine with that. Got him! Nice! And with that, we win. Yeah, our damage output wasn't really the highest. But uh, all things considered, I think we did just fine. Right? We were playing more of like this frontlining tanking role. And I think that enabled a lot of our squishier heroes, right? The Dark Willow and the Sniper, they could just sit in the back and attack a lot. But that's it. Uh, I thought this was a really fun mode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.